What's up? Welcome back to another episode. We're just down here in a creek bottom today, exploring this beautiful, beautiful area. We've got the whole family out today. We'll see if we can get into some crayfish. I brought a trap down here. So I think we might set it out, leave it for a couple hours and come back and see what we have. Oh, here's the crayfish right here. What up, buddy? He's floating downstream. Wow, they're all over the place down here. Oh, here's a big monster. A real big crayfish just swam right underneath this rock here in front of us. So I think that's a perfect place to set the trap. He was an absolute monster. How pretty is this back here? Absolutely beautiful. It's so serene and quiet. We saw a bunch of crawdads already and we barely got in, so I'm gonna set up the trap. So here's the crayfish trap, crawdad trap, whatever you wanna call it. It's basically just a water bottle. I cut a hole in the bottom and then I put a little trap door in the top here, which will allow us to attach this rope to it. We'll fill it with uh, these hot dogs here and hopefully we'll set it for a couple hours and we'll have a couple crawdads in there when we get it. I'm no pro at this. I've actually never even done it before. I found a YouTube video that showed me how to do this, so we're just giving it a shot. I've seen tons of crawdads down here before. They're here today, so we're just gonna go for it. I think what we do is just break these up, drop it right in here. We wanna put a bunch in, at least what I heard, so that we get as much scent stream down the creek as possible. Now we wanna weigh it down with some rocks just so it doesn't float away. It's not that many rocks, but I think that one weighted down will do pretty good. Actually, two little rocks in there. Dunking this hot dog filled water bottle down in this hole where I saw some crawdads a minute ago. Check that out, he's already going for it. He literally walked right over my foot as I was setting it down. He's already trying to get in there, but he's too big. Oh my God, he's going for it right now. How is he gonna fit in that hole? Maybe I should have made the hole bigger. I'm gonna set this right here. This massive crawdad's doing everything he can to fit in that hole. How the girls doing? Woo! I think we'll rest, make sure Nora's good to go. Nora's brand new tree line chillers onesie just came in. Our shirts too. You love it, baby? <laughs> cool. Well, we're in good spirits. Time for some Aveeno baby continuous protection. Zinc oxide. More zinc for Noor. We decided there's not that many open spaces up the creek. It was getting really overgrown. So we're just gonna hang out on this big flat rock for, for right now. Today we have hooray for nature. Who loves nature as much as we? Who loves nature as much as me? The end. Yay. Oh, so cute when she can sit outside and enjoy a book here. I think that's one of our favorite things to do as a family when we're all up here. I'm gonna set up this little pocket rocket stove. Just got the flame going here. We've got some store-bought chicken fajitas, little avocado, tortillas, and some cheese. Got it covered just slightly, let those things cook up. Right, these are looking about good. There's our chicken fajitas. Wrap this up for a second. I learned this from another YouTuber, Northwest Fishing Secrets. He always puts uh, cheese down on the pan and then puts a tortilla on top to melt it. So we're gonna give that a shot here today. Let's see how this goes. Hopefully it melts to our tortilla. Ooh, that was a lot of cheese. Might have done a little too much cheese, but that looks delicious. Mmm, some of these good fajitas in here. And time for some avocado. Check that out. Mmm. It's so cheesy. <laughs> the chickens cook perfect. That is absolutely perfect. Fresh diaper on. What do you think, baby? Oh. <laughs> Everything's good down here at the creek. Getting dialed here. When we get this amount of stuff into just two bags, it's really, really important that we keep everything organized. Now we have out what we need. We may have to fire up the pot again if there's some crayfish in that, um, in the water bottle over there. We'll see here in a minute. Are you in a good mood? Yay. 
Lounging, <laughs> lounging. We got Nora down for a nap. Oh, this water is just so nice. and It's such a nice temperature and it's so clear too. It just makes it so inviting that you just want to walk down this thing. She found a dance spot. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Crawfish dance. <laughs> Crawfish dance. <laughs> Let's go check out our bucket. It's right up here. Yeah, this worked like a charm. A lot of them pulled the hot dogs out. We probably could have had a lot more if maybe the design was a little bit different, but we'll see, try something else next time, who knows. But either way, we came out with a handful of them in here. So I think it worked. Going back, fire up the pot and throw these things on. We're gonna have Jamie light the stove. I got the baby strapped to me, so that seems like a much better idea. Yep. Yep, to the left. The best way to season these guys is to just dump a whole bunch of Old Bay seasoning in there. Best thing I could think of for this. Oh yeah, finger stir. What do you think? Are you gonna try any of these guys? Absolutely not, <laughs> no. Freshwater lobster though, right? Lobster? Yeah. I don't know about that. Little lobsters. <laughs> Little lobsters. All right, guys, so from all the research I've done, the most humane way to either cook these things is to just put them right in the pot. It knocks them out like immediately, so there's no suffering whatsoever. I think we need to cook them for about five or 10 minutes. There's only four in there. So I'm gonna throw a timer on my phone. But this is my first time, like I've been saying, so I, I'm not exactly sure how to do it. I've watched a couple videos. These guys seem pretty small compared to other videos I saw. I think what I do is I just kind of twist this here and pull out that tail meat. You can kind of crack this shell right here to loosen up this meat. And there we go. There's our little lobster tail there. All right, first one. It's good. It's nice and seasoned. It's super seasoned. Are you being honest? I'm being honest. It's salty, super seasoned, and it tasted just like the texture of the meat was just like a lobster tail with just a little piece. If you say so. I'll take it. One more left. Are you sure you don't want it? I'm sure. What's the difference between a crawfish and a crawdad? I think they're the same thing. I think cray, a crayfish and a crawdad are the same thing. Interchangeable. How do you know cray versus craw? I don't. Oh man. <laughs> we ate our crayfish. We caught them. We had no idea if we would. We're full. Nora's been a champ. I think we're going to pack things up here and get on out. We're muddy and we're dialed. All our stuff packed up. We're ready to walk out of here. I'm just going to carry our dirty pot and trap out like this. We enjoyed this beautiful creek today. Such cool rock formations out here. It's getting really overgrown. Hard to navigate up and down the creek, but we found a nice open area to spend the day. Couldn't have been any better. All right, we're out of the willows. That's another episode. Give us a like if you liked it. If you really liked it, maybe hit subscribe. Give us a comment too if you want. Let us know what you think of those crawfish. Did we do it right? I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Maybe you guys know. Catch us on the next episode, guys. It's a blast. Woo! We love you all very much. We appreciate you watching and spending time with us. Catch you on the next one. Peace.